Now you telling me, you pulling me over for what, bro? Why y'all pulling me over though? And that's all, but y'all going in my pockets and shit, and y'all roughing me up like y'all the police? Y'all rough me up like the police, bro. Y'all went in my pockets and shit. For real, bro. Universal Louisville police. And I ain't go Come on, bro. That's some bullshit. That's some systemic ass bullshit, man. Y'all, if I was white, y'all wouldn't pull me over, bro. I swear to God, bro. This motherfucker's Universal Louisville police pulling me over, bro. Campus, po campus police, bro. They gonna go in my pockets, violate my rights, bro. Sick of this shit, bro. I gonna violate my rights going in my pocket? You can't take my plate, bro. It's can, it's no, you can't. It's canceled. No, you can't. You can't take my plate. No, you not, bro. You can't take my plate, bro. You cannot take my plate. Plate is canceled. I'm going to court, bro. You can't take my plate. I don't matter. I'm going to court anyway. Are you gonna take my plate? Yeah, it's canceled by the state. I can't do anything about that. It's canceled by the state, but the police didn't take when they when they gave me the ticket. They didn't do the job all the way. What's up, brothers and sisters? I'm gonna make this real quick and uh, talk about the incident where I was pulled over by UFL campus police. And, you know, in my previous video, I spoke on me getting pulled over by the police on Labor Day. And one thing I do understand is, I understand that you must obey the law. But some things I believe that are, that are uncalled for here in America. Um, it was nine o'clock in the morning. I was on my way to the grocery store, picking a friend up. And I was coming through U of L's campus, and I was in a group of about ten cars, you know. And like I said, I already had a citation from Labor Day from Metro PD, from Louisville Metro PD, PD, and I had the citation in my vehicle, and I knew I had to go to court, in which during the pandemic all the court dates i pushed back so i knew that it gave me ample time to get insurance so i really wasn't worried about it you know because i knew these are trying times and i know a lot of people are without jobs and they really wasn't pressing the issue as far as uh traffic court and expired tags that's what i believe but on this particular day, I was riding down 2nd Street going through Jewel Vale's campus. And like I said, I was in a group of like 10 cars and all of a sudden, magically, campus police is pulling me over. And I am very aware of my surroundings that whole week leading up to that point i'm riding down second and court and cardinal that's the street that's rides through u of l's campus i've seen campus police pulling over vehicles now that's not that's not out of the ordinary but it's funny when all the vehicles that you see happen to be minorities you know, so that 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 right there raised my suspicions and, and and made me aware of the agenda of why they're why they're pulling over regular cars when you when, when they're campus police. I just don't understand that. So when he pulled me over, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was kind of pissed off. So I rolled my window down. I asked him, "Why the fuck is we pulling me over?" He, he tells me, my, my tags expired. I said, but look, bro, you campus police. You're campus police. And why are you profiling vehicles? That was why I was so upset. So when I opened my went, opened my door to put my leg out to, you know, to, to say something to him, he told me to go and get out the car. And I said, for what? I ain't getting out the car. Then I, then I thought about it. I said, man, he ain't even the police. I said, man, I'm not scared of him. So I went on and got out the car. At that point, when I got behind the vehicle, 
because prior to that, he asked me if I had my license on him. I told him I wouldn't give him shit. I gave him my 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 citation. I'm not giving you my license, and I'm I'm not telling you who I am. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, like I said, you're a campus police. Why are you trying to do police work? You supposed to police the campus. Even though I'm riding through camp campus, why are you profiling? So at that point, he reached and grabbed my ID out of my pocket. Where he thought it was my ID was my debit card. So he grabbed my card and I said, man, what the fuck are you doing touching me, bro? And when he reached and grabbed my pocket, the other police was pressing me, pressing me from behind. I said, oh, okay, I see what y'all doing. Y'all trying to provoke me. I said, let me, let me, let me go back to the car and get my cell phone. I need to call somebody. So he let me go to the car and get my cell phone. As soon as I grabbed my cell phone, I pushed record. And that's why I was so animated because I seen exactly what they were doing. I mean, pulling in front of my vehicle like it was a drug bust it was completely uncalled for. And that's a part of the systemic racism that we as blacks go through in America. That's, that's karma already. God getting your ass. This motherfucker to cut his hand open and shit.